Welcome everybody. It's been a wee while from I last done a video. So welcome to my workshop. And uh, I'm just going to start off uh, with a wee simple project of a wee tree. Uh, around about this time of year, we uh, get timber uh, to give to the children's hospital. We make Christmas trees for them and snowmen and various other things throughout the year. And <coughs> this is a, a good time to get uh, stuck into it because uh, they distribute their surplus among the oil trusts. So uh, we're just using ordinary pallet uh, wood. Uh, normally we go to the landfill. Uh, we get this free uh, from one of the members of our club and then she has to contact so uh, <coughs> plus uh, one of our members in our club is uh, is it cousin or I think it is his cousin she would like some trees too so I've got some timber for for Brandon to make some trees and uh, to give to her so I'm going to make one the way she has asked us to do it this is normally not the way I would do a tree my normal uh, outcome on a tree would be something like this okay with a, a base and sort of a, a uh, what do you call it uh, stem so you can see it's, they're just basic we trees to turn on they're, they're not hard to do so I'm going to mark this up uh, using the sander finder uh, I'll just bring that down so that you can see what I'm doing uh, this gives you a rough idea where the center is. You just go down around each side, and where you where the lines cross more or less, you can see the lines are all over the place. So somewhere in the middle of that axe is the center. So we'll do the other end. Just a rough guide uh, to give you uh, an idea of where the center is. You can see that one's even more out because it's uh, the piece of wood is not uniform the whole way around. So we'll set that one to the side. I have another one here, and. Uh, Just mark that round too. And everything's locked down. Before you start your lathe, just go and check that everything clears your tool rest. That's just hidden a wee bit there, so we need to move that. It's best to do it this way, then turn the lathe on and find out. Uh, it was hitting this, and the next thing you know, bang, or, or even worse, it comes off and hits you. So, the other thing, if you have a variable speed lathe, please turn your speed down uh, before you start it up. I've seen that many accidents on YouTube that people start the lathe up, and it's going full welt, and the next thing... The piece comes off because it's going too far too fast so that's that's going turns nicely uh, I just need to adjust my height here uh, best to stop the lathe when you want to do any adjustments to it uh, again second check if everything's tight and locked down 
Um, we'll just use, I just pull my curtains round. It stops all the shavings going all over the workshop. And it's easier to clean, clean up afterwards. So, this looks like a piece of pine. Uh, as I said, it's just pallet wood. Uh, it's nothing fancy. Uh, I just thought I would do one or two wee trees just to get me back into the turning. Uh, some to practice on before you uh, you start into something. It gives you a better feel for your tools and what's happening with the lathe. Uh, all you want to do is work from one end to the other. So. Just gently back and forward. And you're using this hand here and finger as the guide for your depth Run along the back of the tool rest. And again, we'll stop it and have a look because we're, we're moving away from uh, the tool rest here. So there's a good good inch now from in between. So you want to move your tool rest forward. Okay. And again, we're going to stop this and see where this bit of timber is missing. It's quite, quite a bit yet to go, so we'll just carry on. This is going to be a thin, tall tree. This is a good exercise if you're just starting out new to turning, because it gives you practice using your your roughing gouge and bringing pieces of timber down to, from the square to the round. Even if you're not making anything, it's great practice to just turn it down to the cylinder and get your your movement right and your stance right and you can feel uh, confident on what you're doing. So we'll have a look, look at that and see. There's not going to be much of a tree there. That's a down to round. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square up uh, the bottom end on this, which would be this end. Um, we're going to use the parting tool. Yep. Tool rest is a wee bit looser. Must be this end. Good thing to be uh, checking your your tool rest is tight because the vibrations of the leaves sometimes can vibrate the things loose, and then you have a problem.
right now. Probably enough of that. Uh, we'll just get a bit of sandpaper. A piece of 120 here. I'll put on the dust extractor. I'll just give us quick sand. Just have a wee look at that. We better tear right there and just tidy that up. So that's that, basically, uh, I'll just get ready to cut that off, uh, it's easier to do it now on the, the lathe, I'm not going to do 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 So that's not that. <laughs> Better off and again, take that wee bit off the bottom. And we can use the skew to mark that. So there we have the first tree. Now this is the way she wanted them. Just more or less straight up and down with very little detail for the branches and no base, just a wee flat bottom on them. So that's the first one done. So we'll make the second piece in. We'll do an R one. And then I'll see what I can find to do. After that.
excuse me, now that it's more or less round, I'll just turn it up to just below 2000 RPMs. You just get a better cut uh, with a more speed. Again, we'll stop that and see where we are. Right, that's almost there. So <clears throat> I'm going to leave it at that because I'm going to keep this down. I'll take most of that away. So we'll square the both ends up again using the parting tool. Change cameras and see if that overhead camera is a bit better. That uh... <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Uh, overhead camera. There we are. Just straighten that up a wee bit. Just let you see, maybe a wee bit better what I'm doing. But just bring it down to near enough where it's being held on the stab center. And the same with this orient. I don't want to take too much away because the piece of wood is not that broad. So, we'll screw it up. The two ends and we've more or less turned it to a cylinder. Now we want to bevel the end of it, which is going to be the top. A good tip is if you angle your tool rest, starting from here, and then you follow along with your finger, you'll get a, a constant uh, size of cut. Again, we want to get uh, our bottom on it so we're just going to bring the parting tool up and just undercut it that wee bit and just clean the face of that up okay and again we want to mark our top so well We've done it in four branches in that one, so we'll make this wee bit uh, smaller. And again, using the small parting tool. As you come to the end of the cut, just turn your tool over. So you down. So you end up right over. Again, we're hitting this knot here. A little bit of bit because of the knot. OK, 
Okay, and the last one. And there's still a bit of that in that bit there. And again, we're just going to use the <coughs> skew to tidy this up. You can hear that uh, on the nut. <clears throat> we'll stop on how we look to see what that's <coughs> uh, 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 not there's not too much tar out in that that'll sound up again Remove your tool rest out of the way. We'll put our dust extractor on. We'll give us a wee sound. Dust is getting to me. <laughs> we'll stop a laser and have a look at that. but a sound in. Excuse me again. So you can see that uh, there's not a lot of two these wee trees, and uh, as I said before in the last first one, uh, she didn't want uh, a base on it the way I normally would do. Uh, there's a wee bit of tar right there. We'll just rub the sandpaper over that. And using our parting tool then, we'll uh, just reduce this. Just have to <coughs> reshape this bit.
Now I'm going to cook something. <coughs> and then with a parting tool, just a wee cut into it. And that one is ready to come off as well. Uh, <coughs> I just use the thin parting tool just to get out more so it's easy to stand it off. So that's that done. <coughs> Hold on, take it out of between the centers and we'll break the top off and break the bottom off. And using the skew, well, just take the, the nib of that. That's that off. And a wee bit of sandpaper will sort that out. So there you are guys, a simple wee project for <coughs> used to start out when you start out turning. Uh, it's good practice, uh, if you can pick the wood up for nothing, it's all well and good. It's uh, a gets you uh, experience with using different tools, a wee bit of imagination on your part. Uh, it's not the way I normally do a tree, but this is what the, the girls asked for. And they're going to paint them white, I think. So that's two, <coughs> two or 20 I have to do. So <coughs> I'll, bring, I'll bring my camera back and uh, that should be me back again. So guys, <coughs> that's just a wee basic uh, bit of turning. Uh, anybody's just starting out, uh, practice on a bit of waste wood uh, before you start in the anything. Uh, you know, if you're buying wood, you know, you don't want to ruin it. So start off with a bit of waste wood first and uh, you know what to say, practice makes perfect. And uh, you can see there's two nice wee trees, both different. One tall skinny one, one so and a wee bit thicker. So, you know, you can still turn stuff out of uh, old pallet wood. Uh, I like I like that tree there. It's a normally high. I would do a tree with a base and then the stem and then the tree branches. This is going to be a tree with lights in it. That's why it comes apart. I have to hollow the ends out of yet, that yet and the inside of that to put the wee lights in it. Uh, I have one here. Uh, where I have started. So I have a few of those sitting on the bench. They've just been rough uh, shaped down to size. Uh, the holes drilled where the lights are going on. And I haven't parted it off yet yeah, in the center. I'm going to cut it in the middle. Uh, I've left the spigots in both ends. And then I'm going to put it back in the chuck. And using the Forstner bit, drill down and take the insides out. Top and bottom. And then give it a nice wee sanding and finish and put the lights in there and they're just battery operated lights and I make a wee base for it to sit on uh, sort of like that oh, like that and you can hide your uh, battery pack in the bottom of it so they're just battery operated uh, that's the safest way to go 
anything avoid <coughs> involving an electrical work, uh, you need to be sure that whoever you're giving it to, you're selling it to, that uh, it is uh, safe. You don't want to come back at you saying somebody got electrocuted. So that's why I don't make them uh, with uh, electricity. Batteries are well and good. Uh, coming up to Christmas time, it's a good time to make them. Uh, they sell quite well. And uh, it gives the kids their own wee tree for their bedroom. And they can set it on the wee bedside table or on the windowsill. And they can see the wee tree with the lights on it. And it's a nice wee, wee thing to have uh, as you're growing up as, as a child, you know. I never had anything like that. So I, I'm bringing all of these things out of my uh, childhood. And what, ah, I uh, wish I had, you know. But guys, this is my first wee demo back from uh, my, I would say, decorating break. Uh, uh, I got sand, new central heating put into the house there a fortnight ago, and uh, I had to take all the floors upstairs. They're all wooden laminated floors upstairs, so I had to take them all up for them to put new pipework on. It just wasn't a matter of putting new radiators on. They had to rip the whole <coughs> the pipework out and under the floor. So in doing that, I had disturbed all the skirtings and stuff. So they're all down now again, and uh, I'm, I'm getting to the end of it. I was just uh, the hall of land and to decorate, and that will be the, the house back to normal again. <laughs> but it all takes time, you know. No point in rushing it. So, again, thanks very much for watching. And if you do like what you see and you want to see some more, please subscribe to my channel. And that will notify you when I put a new video up. Uh, today, I would have started off with those wee trees. Uh, which, uh, uh, my friend Brendan has asked her, a few of the club members to make for his niece I think it is and uh, so that's two of 20 Brandon I have two done so he'll be watching this later on when I put it on the YouTube so make him feel guilty I'm out here slaving away Brandon for uh, the turn these trees so <clears throat> and enjoy talking to you all again and uh, enjoy getting back into my shed and doing a wee bit you should enjoy what you're doing. If you don't enjoy it, then it, it, it doesn't feel the same. It's just, that's the best thing I ever done was join a, a club. Uh, the amount of knowledge from the older members and uh, if there's something you're having problems with, you can ask somebody. Uh, I know it's not uh, at the minute uh, visible. Some uh, clubs are not back yet. Ours is included in that. Uh, we still can't meet because um, it's just too much of a risk having 40, 50 people in a room, you know, and you're all sitting there with face masks on. <laughs> like, I don't want to, you know, who's the one in 40 has COVID? That's what they say, one in 40 has COVID. So <clears throat> even though everybody has been double vaccinated, it's still a still a risk and uh, until we test the water and see how it goes nobody knows what's going to happen we're going to have to live with this I think for a long time so that's enough of me rambling on about different things and just just missing talking to you <laughs> and uh, excited to just to get back into this yeah so I'm going to uh, stop the video here and I will have an R1 up very soon. Okay, so thanks very much again for watching. My name is Paul Finley, if, if you don't know, or to say, <laughs> and uh, I belong to Elster Wee Turners. And uh, please, if you uh, want to drop me a line about something, feel free. Uh, you know, I'll answer it if I can. You know, 
I started off learning uh, the same as you's and the thing about it, I've been turning just coming nine years now and there's a, still a lot of stuff I can't do and don't know how to do but it's all about enjoying what you do guys and there's no better thing than going out and turning some shavings in your shed and uh, enjoying yourself that's what it's all about it's not a, a task that you must do every day you know go out and enjoy yourself what your at your hobby uh, I, this is my hobby I'm not making a living from it uh, enjoy what I do and if I can help anybody along with their turning yeah feel free to, to ask the way so thanks very much guys uh, I enjoy talking to you and showing those two simple trees that I've been asked to, to make for a friend and uh, I enjoy looking forward to the next video I will be putting up. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.